Kimberly Oliveira. Good morning. Is this your lawyer? <laughs> My husband. Oh, your husband. <laughs> okay. Uh, why don't you guys get two separate mics, okay? I know, I know you're a very close family. You want to stay close <laughs> together, right? <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to take a guess. You were driving the vehicle. She was. Inspector <laughs> Quinn, I started off wrong. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you allow her to use the vehicle occasionally? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty... Uh, when she's good. Yeah, it's a pretty... And I'm always good. Pretty fa fancy <laughs> SUV. But you're charged with parking in a prohibited area on Fifth Street. Yes, my grandma. I mean, I know, I know why you're here, incidentally. I don't know why either. I know why you're here. You're here to Just pay. Just to protect. Yeah, you're here to, to pay. pay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> Who's going to pay, you or him? He, uh, he is. He is. <laughs> she does the crime and I pay for it. <laughs> That's why she's completely hey, relaxed. That was she the don't arrangement. Care. Right? <laughs> All right, what That's happened? That's the benefits you, of being married. You, <laughs> how many children do you have? We have two now. Yeah. Well, you're charged with parking in a prohibited area. Yes. On Fifth Street. That's up near Miriam Hospital. What do you want to tell me about it? Well, it was a, it was a very busy day that day. I was actually following my mother because I didn't know how to get to the hospital. Oh, now you're throwing your mother under the bus. I know. <laughs> I have to because it's part of, well, I don't understand why I got the ticket All and right. nobody else did. All right. But uh, my grandmother had been admitted the night before, so I was going to help my mother out. So I followed her into two parking lots. There was no place to park. Valet was out in the street. So we parked on the street I followed her to. We parked there. We, there was a delivery truck in front of us. We went in. She asked the valet if it was OK to be parked there. He said it was OK as long as it was less than two hours. So I made sure it was less than two hours. But when I came out, I had a ticket. Her car was still there. She did not have a ticket. Well, we, I have a photograph of the area and a photograph of your car, and mm -hmm. there is a delivery truck in front of you. And yeah, I think it was only within 10 minutes I got that ticket, <clears> according <throat> to the stamp that was on it, the time stamp. And uh, next to the delivery truck is a pole with signs on it, which are not visible in the, uh, in the photograph. So what do you think, Inspector Quinn? Your Honor, the signs on the pole say no parking any time. Um, Deliveries between 8 and 4. Does it really? Your Honor, there's no way I could have read that sign. <laughs> <laughs> the photo the city provided, Your Honor, does not allow me the ability to read the, the times on the sign. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're following your mother to the hospital because your grandmother was in the hospital, right? You asked the valet, where can I park? He says, park over there. You said to him, are you sure? He said, sure, I'm sure. He don't care. Right. right. He don't care. I know. He figures, I'm going to get rid of her, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got other stuff to do. Park any way you want. <laughs> and then you drag your husband into court. Yeah. You he, guys wa get, he wanted to come. <clears throat> you guys get along pretty good. You've been recently married? No. How 37 years. How many? 37. 37 years. <laughs> I, feel, I feel your pain. Same thing. <laughs> it, it's been good so far. Same I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. This is a family joke, and I'll explain it after I finish. How many years have you been happily married? <laughs> you don't have to answer. <laughs> you, don't have, you, don't have to, you don't have to answer. Well, it's, it's like a my, up and down. <laughs> it's up and down. It's like this. Yeah. Peaks and valleys. Yeah. Okay. That's life. Life is peaks and valleys. <clears throat> but my wife and I have been married 50 years, so. And every time we meet people, I'll introduce people, and I'll say, uh, morning and Tuesday, they said, oh, how long have you been married? I said, well, we've been happily married for five years. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, oh, you, is this your second or third wife? No, 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 no. <laughs> Inspector Quinn, uh, who was the prosecuting officer, said he can't read the sign. So if he can't read the sign, the city can't prove its case. If the city can't prove its case, the matter is going to be dismissed. He just saved 30 bucks. Thank you. I appreciate Take it to that. breakfast. Yeah. Now go for the $100 breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All Have right. a good day. Bernadette Ortiz. Okay, Bernadette, you're charged with uh, loud music coming from uh, your home at 3.30 in the morning. Was you having a party? I was having a get-together. What was the occasion? Just celebrating. A bunch of friends? 
just a little get together, people over. How many people in the house? Twelve or so. Well, you have two choices. You can pay. A f you can, you can plead guilty today, and I'll impose a fine. Or you can come back and have a trial. Is there anything you want to tell me about it? It was just a simple. We was drinking. I got drunk, and. I blacked out. Don't <laughs> remember much of it. You blacked out? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the cops coming and stuff. So, did, but did you I was really drunk. <laughs> did you speak to the police when they came? Back? <clears throat> if I did, I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember what you said? Because <clears throat> there's a police report on this, and <laughs> I'm not going to read the police report. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sure you probably said, "Listen, sir, I'm sorry." You know, we're just having some friends getting together, and I realize, officer, you have a tough job, and uh, please show us some mercy. I think, I think that's what you said to the police officer, right? I hope so. <laughs> Something like that. What do you think, Inspector Quinn? Is that what I, she said? I've yet to read that report. It sounds no, we're not like reading the report. <laughs> no, we're, no. Not gonna, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Your today. version of that report, I've yet when to I, read that. She comes across, she's very honest. She exactly. said, let's have too much to drink. I had some friends. The cops came. Maybe I said some stuff that was inappropriate, but that's not really me. Correct. Is that what you wanted to say? Perfect is on point. <laughs> All right. Now, that's what you want. Now, what are you really thinking? I was wondering what I really said. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a $500 fine here. So how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Uh, I would say guilty with an explanation, which I just gave. So. Yeah. I don't know, Inspector Quinn. I think we have to find her. But I just dropped one of the zeros. So it's going to cost you $50. Thank you. And I just thought you dropped the zero after the decimal point. <laughs> <laughs> now, there were 13 people at the party, right? Yeah. All we, right. we was all just having fun. Right. It got out of hand, I guess, because after a few I think drinks. You better call, I think you better call them up and tell them. Uh, I'm going to start charging $25 a head or something from them. <laughs> it's a $50 fine, right? So call them up and tell them the old $4 each. They all have to participate in the fine, right? Yes. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. When you come to court, you are required to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But nowhere do we ask that you overshare? I was eight months pregnant and I had to pee. Yeah, I was over at my girlfriend's house. I had just had my, some surgery, my fingers amputated. While we appreciate Miss Ortiz's honesty when she admitted that she got blackout drunk, she could have simply said that she was overserved. A phrase that I'm occasionally required to employ. Hey, it happens. Happy birthday, Bernadette. And next year, might I recommend water wine, water wine, and you'll be fine. Pro tip, no charge. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.